Be listening throughout the day for updates on the search and rescue, search and recovery operations throughout Southwest Florida. Our Blair Miller from Washington traveled to Orlando early in the week and is now headed into the Fort Myers area and he'll embed with the National Guard and bring you closer to uh, the search uh, efforts in places like Sanibel Island, Captiva Island, Fort Myers, and more. And we'll continue to follow that story. Be listening Wednesday on Jacksonville's Morning News for some of the top takeaways as FEMA has been inundated with requests for financial uh, disaster assistance likely to be in the tens of billions of dollars uh, across much of the state. Be with us Wednesday on Jacksonville's Morning News for the unique way that you can help your neighbors in Southwest Florida. It'll be a day long effort across WOKV and the other Cox Media Group radio and TV stations in Northeast Florida and in Tampa, Miami, Orlando. It'll be a combined collaborative effort to try to help our own neighbors who have just been through hell and back. We'll continue to follow locally the gradual warming trend, but enjoy yet another crisp, cool fall morning temperatures that may be uh, nearing record lows in the 50s and 40s in some well inland neighborhoods when the 90s may return in the five day first alert forecast. And we're still unpacking some of the disaster aid fights that lie ahead as it's become political. The $18.9 billion that was most recently included in the short term spending plan that was muscled through last week while we were tracking the hurricane, Congress was trying to get this short term budget deal in place to avert a partial government shutdown. The politics that's in play, if $19 billion may even be enough, one of many storylines we're working to bring you throughout this week on 104.5 FM and at WOKV.com.